Hi, my name is Adam Barker. I'm a professional photographer based out of Salt Lake City, Utah. I specialize in active lifestyle and scenic landscape imagery. The tripod is one of those pieces of equipment that people just have a hard time committing to. They wonder, do I really need a tripod? I can tell you that if you're interested in taking your photography to that next level, you do need a tripod. I always like to hand out a couple of tips that will help you with your photography, regardless of the genre that you're shooting. The first and, and really kind of the simplest is to shoot early or late in the day when the sun is low on the horizon. This gives us soft, warm light. 90% of my work is done in the first and last 10% of the day when the sun is low on the horizon. We don't have very much light. So there are a number of scenarios where a tripod is very important, where, where shots are just impossible to achieve without having a tripod. One of them, for example, is this shot from San Francisco at the Twin Peaks Overlook. It's a night shot. This is a long experience a 30 second exposure. So it simply would not have been possible to shoot this image without a tripod. Secondly, and this relates to composition or how we you know, arrange our photo, is the cardinal rule of composition, which is the rule of thirds. And the easiest way to think about this for a landscape photographer especially, is to think about keeping that horizon away from the center of the frame. Like this sunrise shot from Mesquite Dunes in Death Valley National Park. You know, at the wide angle composition, having a tripod to study my composition, check the edges of my frame, and fine tune that composition so it's just as I want it. Lastly, a cable release. Cable release is very helpful, especially if you're shooting on a tripod. It's simply an extension of our shutter button. Any sort of vibration on the camera is gonna render the image soft. Finally, another classic example of when you would use a tripod is this shot of McWay Falls at sunset. To achieve that silky effect in the water, you simply need to hold that shutter open for longer than about a 15th of a second. And once again, this would be impossible to do without a tripod. It, it's not a, a very advanced technique, but having a very simple tool allows you to achieve an image that would have otherwise been impossible. These tips have been incredibly helpful in bettering my own photography. Go ahead and incorporate them into your workflow and have fun out there.